Casio has been a legend for its trusty digital watches, like the F91W or the A158W. These champions of practicality are famous for their lightweight resin cases that conform comfortably to your wrist, almost disappearing beneath your sleeve, but the A1000 breaks the mold entirely. It's a radical departure from the usual Casio aesthetic. Crafted from solid stainless steel, the A1000 features a satisfying weight that you immediately notice when you pick it up. It feels substantial and well-made, a far cry from the featherweight feel of its resin cousins. Casio didn't just focus on toughness here, though. The case is beautifully finished with a combination of brushed and polished stainless steel. This attention to detail catches the light and adds a touch of unexpected elegance to the watch. It elevates the A1000 from a utilitarian timepiece to a watch that can hold its own in a more dressed-up setting. Imagine the classic Casio digital display with its sharp lines and clean interface, but now encased in a refined stainless steel body. That's the A1000 in a nutshell. It's a perfect example of Casio taking a familiar design and elevating it to new heights. For a Casio user that had a past experience with their resin case digital watches and their calculators, that their main selling point was the practicality, this A1000 stainless steel case release brings a totally new vibe to the digital collection. In the past, a digital watch was meant to be light, shock-resistant and insanely affordable. We take for example the F91W that still to this day keeps its original price of $10-$12. This new retro-inspired line that comes with a stainless steel case steps the game up a bit making Casio a more respected watch brand that for some watch enthusiasts seemed only a plastic case watch. And nowadays missing the hype can make even the best product a total disaster if not advertised properly. Casio understood its position into the watch world and took advantage of this new retro inspired trend, where we come back to the old days when the film photography cameras and digital small watches were advertised in a Gvel magazine. A release of such model brings back the old days when Casio Tron was released and new features were added for better practicality like alarm, hourly chime and light that could beat any high-end luxury watch from that period with its features for less than 10% of a Swiss expensive extravagance. Even today, Casio kept the prices low compared with its Tissot competitor that released a digital stainless steel case counterpart for almost $400, just for a Swiss-made writing at the 6 o'clock position. A true watch enthusiast would always choose the Casio over Tissot when it comes to digital watches. You firstly choose Casio for its history and for their commitment to keep up with the new trends like this A1000 line. This model breaks the stereotype of a Casio, known as a budget brand. It shows their commitment to creating high-quality timepieces with a more durable case material. So, A1000 is basically a G-Shock on a budget. Not any G-Shock, but the GMW B5000D that is meant to be heavy on the wrist and keep its initial meaning in a more robust case. I feel that Casio had the same idea in mind when they created this model. They even added a mineral crystal to raise the poorly scratchable crystal from the resin models. They even used on some versions a sapphire crystal making the watch look pristine even longer. Another thing that makes it an iconic retro-inspired watch is a stainless steel bracelet that uses just the same old folded links to showcase a slick vintage-inspired bracelet. This time they modified the bracelet, I think, in an unnecessary way 
to get that luxury aesthetic. I personally disliked the bracelet right from the first day, not for its folded links, but for the lack of adjustability. Such watch that is meant to be worn everywhere should always have the micro adjustments. For those moments when your wrist expands in hot weather, I was lucky that I kept the bracelet of my newly broken Casio A700 that not only that fitted the 18mm lugs of the A1000, but it also kept the same case line better than the one that the watch came with. After being paired with such strap, the watch screams back to the future. The case and bracelet style reminds me of the 70s, 80s watches. Luckily, this bracelet has the ability to be adjusted without any proper tools. Just a simple screwdriver or any pointy tool that can fit the adjustment hole to make the watch fit the wrist. The dial displays the Casio logo. This time not printed, but applied. A typical water resist writing to brag about the 30 meters water resistance that will be addressed a bit later, because it is deceiving. mother of pearl, that no matter how much light receives, always displays a blue, green and pink tint of the cream inner bezel. And here we can certainly say that the F91W could never beat this. The movement inside is a 3479 quartz movement, that apart from all the features of a F91W, it displays a better viewing angle and the electroluminescence technology that has the ability to illuminate the entire display. The buttons and the functions of this specific model are exactly the same as its plastic vintage affordable counterpart. It displays the day, the date, an alarm, an hourly chime and a precise maximum one hour stopwatch. The buttons are completely different from the resin models this time being rounder and a bit thicker, while operating the watch keeps the same feeling of hard to press buttons for some users. It is not a button that is hard to press, but the case shape keeps the buttons recessed as a preventive measure not to be pressed accidentally. The water resistance that having only 30 meters rating keeps the same good reputation of the F91W that ended up being compared with a diving watch for their great water resistance, exceeding of course 30 meters. This one makes no exception and it showed its potential in multiple situations. When I used this watch just like a G-Shock and I wore it in a lot of situations where water was present and I even submerged it underwater with no signs of water entering the case. Casio follows a different path than other watch manufacturers, where they try to surprise its customers with a better product than the one advertised. Still seen as a watch for small wrists for some users, these A1000 line, just like the resin models, are meant to be worn small. On my 6.5 inch wrist, it feels just like a 38-39mm watch still has a lot more wrist presence compared to the F91W that sometimes gives you the impression that you're not wearing anything but a rubber band. We've seen that Casio tried some modern trends lately, but I consider that the image of a simple classic vintage digital watch will always be their main selling point, because every time I hear Casio I think about a true Japanese brand that takes good care of their customers by providing high quality products for reasonable prices and making Casio a brand for all budgets. The A1000 is definitely worth buying and if not worn every day, it is worth having in your collection as for $100, you get a piece of history. Of course, you can opt for the newly released 4000 units limited edition Casiotron that is even more expensive and has a lot more features. But this $100 version keeps the same vibe for far less, 
while still considerably more expensive than its resin cousins, it will definitely last longer. My name is Ed and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more watch related review videos. And I see you in the next one. Thank you.